positive integer n. A positive integer is divisible by 9 if and only if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. If n is a positive integer, for which of the following values of k is 25 times 10 to the n plus k times 10 to the 2n divisible by 9? Now this is an interesting little question. It's a bit tricky in the way that it's presented. So let's just write this and have a look at what these numbers are telling us. So 25 times 10 to the nth power plus k times 10 to the 2n. And is there a way that we could represent this in any way that's more convenient? What I'm thinking about here is, okay, the, the first sentence, a positive integer is divisible by 9 if and only if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. I wouldn't worry too much about this. In fact, this is just something that you want to know. It's the same for 3. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3. It's true for 9 as well. So this is something that you can largely ignore because it's something that basically the GMAT would already expect you to know. Now, if n is a positive integer for which of the values of k is 25 times 10 to the n plus k times 10 to the 2n divisible by 9. So the question here is, what are the digits of the final number going to be? And the nice thing about this is that we can ignore this 10 to the n because this doesn't affect digits. It's only going to affect the decimal place or the number of zeros. Same here, this doesn't affect digits. So what we know is that for this first number, 25 times 10 to the n, that's going to give us 2 and a 5. So basically we have 2 plus 5 here. And we know that this 10 to the 2n is still not going to affect the digits, but what it's going to do is it's going to make the number larger than this number. So basically, we're going to get, if we had four spaces, for example, this would be the 10 to the 2n numbers, and this would be the 10 to the n numbers. So we know this is 2 and 5 already, right? And this number, whatever it would be, we just need to pick something that's going to add to 9. So the only number, basically, given that this is already 7, we need to just put the k in here and have it add to 9 or 18 or something like that. So if we said, for example, k is 9, that's going to give us 16, does not add to 9. If we said that k is 16, that's going to be 7 plus 1 plus 6, so 14 doesn't work. So let's just go through the answer choices. Basically, the 2 and 5, we know it makes 7, so that's going to be 7 plus 9 is 16. So add the digits again in b, so that's 7 plus 7 is 14, doesn't work. C gives us 7 plus 5 is 12. It's divisible by 3, but not by 9. D gives us 7 plus 8 is 15. Again, divisible by 3, but not by 9. And by elimination, we're left with E. But check this, 7 plus 11 is 18. So E has to be the answer. So it ends up being 2 plus 5 plus 4 plus 7 yields 18. And we know that that total number is of course divisible by 9. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, the best way to support the channel is to click the like button or subscribe on YouTube. And if you're interested, we have a free 23-page Properties of Numbers guide that you can find by clicking on the link in the top right-hand corner of your screen. So if you're having trouble with those annoying properties of integers, properties of numbers questions, this is the guide for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.